What's going on guys? Bangle again here coming back at you with another video and today we are back on Jaguars franchise and I made the executive decision to skip the preseason as there's no preseason in real life this year. I know this is 2021. We don't really know what the whole like corona situation is going to be so I've decided to skip the preseason and just jump in straight from week one but yes we are in week one coming off of a very big draft. If you decided to skip the offseason video you made a big mistake because we got some very, very good players that are, uh, that are going to be debuting for the Jaguars in this game. A lot of things happen, including Gardner Minshew going up to superstar development. Listen, it's not ideal that Minshew mania still exists in Jacksonville. We still don't get throw power. I don't know if that's ever going to go up. But he has superstar development now. He's at least going to be a trade piece at some point. And what I will say is that there were just no good free agents. There were no good players we could draft, no good prospects. Minshew is unfortunately our best option still somehow. However, Aaron Jones is a new member of this Jacksonville Jaguars team. And I think I'm going to upgrade. Oh, I like spin move to be higher. That's actually kind of low. What should we do here? I kind of am feeling power back to get trucking up. Maybe that'll upgrade break tackle as well. Let's go ahead and just see what that changes. I want trucking. That's what I'm focused on. We get plus one trucking, plus two break tackle, plus one stiff arm. I feel like that's pretty good. Maybe we'll stick in elusiveness for the time or for the future. But if you missed out on Dennis Peoples, wow. This kid could be unbelievable. Check out the stats. He's never played in an NFL regular season game coming out looking like this. Unreal. So excited to see what he can be for this team. I'm not even sure where to upgrade him. His short route running is really, really awful. Do we upgrade route runner? Or do we just make him a deep threat maniac? Deep route running is not great. Let's do deep threat and just see where we are. We'll see what this upgrades, because it could be a lot of things. Awareness, deep route running, medium route running, Plus two to release, and then plus one to spectacular catch. I think Dennis Peoples is going to be the receiver of the future here in Jacksonville. He's already as high of an overall as D.D. Westbrook is. Did he regress? No way. Oh, he was playing up with morale. That's what it was. That's why these guys were a lot higher than uh, uh, they are now. What do we do for DJ Chark? I feel like it's still catching traffic and route running. So I feel like physical is going to be important for him to get his catching traffic into the 90s. Maybe we'll do route running, though. It's the uh, position, like, archetype anyway. And this is not a good upgrade. <laughs> plus two to awareness, plus two to medium route running. That's so bad. But he does go up a little bit. Who else has an upgrade? Jake Lutton. Don't really care about. No one on the offensive line. Taylor Moten is a new addition. Also, we drafted a rookie tight end in uh, Demarcus Holmes, who will be starting over Tyler Eifert. A lot of new faces to look out for. Defensively, we have changed schemes. We are now running a 3-4. Kalevon Chason has been moved to outside linebacker. I think it's a more natural fit for him anyway. As we'll upgrade, we get acceleration, power moves, tackle, and then plus three to zone coverage. That's interesting. It's only a 56. So he's not going to be good in that role, but he's a primary edge rusher for us. CJ Henderson has an upgrade point. We'll probably just stick in man, although I do want zone to be above 80. So I'm going to do zone now. I know I'm contradicting myself, but I want zone to be above 80 so he can still be good in that area. And we get a lot of things. Tackling, press, zone coverage, play rec, change of direction, and awareness. Big upgrades for CJ Henderson, who now has 80-80. We don't want guys to be one-trick ponies on this team. We want guys to be able to do it all. And Joe Schobert, I mean, you'd think he'd be, like, slower or bad, but he has 83 speed. He's as fast as Miles Jack is. We'll just continue to go in a field general. We'll upgrade him to an 86 overall. We get an ability slot because he has superstar depth. Zone coverage goes up, tackle, pursuit, acceleration by one. And then field general up to an 86. And time to see what his superstar ability is going to be. Zone coverage by two, tackling, and pursuit by one. And his ability, he gets under pressure. Defenders with this ability can apply pressure to the quarterback from a greater distance. I don't like that one. And then closer. Locker room pep talks go a long way. Players with this ability can easily enter the zone in the second half. That could be really good. But he doesn't have a zone ability. 
So, what the hell? I mean, <laughs> that's a useless ability. Am I, am I wrong? Am I misunderstanding that? Also drafted Quandre Sims, who has some type of ability, or not ability, but some type of good development trait. Should we just make him like a man specialist? And just completely focus on that because it's the only part of him that's any good? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Josh Allen has an upgrade. We also brought in Marcus Williams in free agency. Got to look out for Chad Brown, who we drafted. He was our first pick. And then Speed Rusher is going to be what I do for Josh Allen. Need finesse moves to go up quite a bit. Only by one. But if you guys are new here, and I will remind you again, but make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on an episode of Jaguars Franchise. And I think Ronnie Harrison, who had such a great year last year, I think we're going to continue to upgrade his coverage. That's where I want him to be good. Zone coverage is super important for a defensive back, clearly. Especially a safety, but we don't get an upgrade in that area. But I think we are ready to go. All the other development trait upgrades, or skill point upgrades, I should say, will go to the CPU as we get ready for our week one matchup against the San Francisco 49ers. We're going to set a season goal. We won 11 games last year. The sliders are even harder. I think we're going to make the playoffs. So that will be our goal for the year is to make the playoffs. And we'll have the CPU finishing the rest of the upgrades. Colin Johnson has a chance to eventually be our second tight end behind DeMarcus, uh, last name. De Why do I not remember his name? DeMarcus, I wanted to say it was like Holmes, but it's not. It's No, it is DeMarcus Holmes. Okay. I got to remember some of these names. These names are new for you guys. They're new for me. We just got to get used to that. I am going to spend some Coach XP here. What position? Linebacker? Yeah, we got some rookies in those uh, those areas. Or actually, like Caleb on Chase on a second year guy. We changed uh, schemes, so... No, we don't. But we do have some young guys that need development trade upgrades and some skill upgrades as well. So hopefully we can get those. And we are an 82 overall. A lot of upgrades to this team. Aaron Jones, Marcus Williams, and especially the rookie, Donovan Peoples. Okay, so good thing I caught this really, really early. I'm not going to restart this game, so it says still one attempt if we see the schedule. Very, very frustrating, but I'll break it down for you. I don't know why my recording just stopped, but here's what happened. We got only three points this first drive, nothing crazy. If we see, can we see the replay or the, the summary of what happened? Maybe not, but we got off to a rough start. Um, threw the ball up to Donovan Peoples on the first play. He couldn't come down with it. It was a second and 20. We tried a screen. Andrew Norwell held. That made it second and 20. And then we lobbed it up for 47 yards. It was Richard Sherman in one-on-one -on -one man coverage against DJ Chark. And DJ Chark is just too fast. Richard Sherman at this point in his career is too slow. Definitely cannot cover DJ Chark man coverage one-on-one -on -one down the field. No safety help over the top. Bad idea. However, we would then run it to Aaron Jones for negative one. A few incompletions later on some San Francisco blitzes. And we were set up in a tough position. We decided to go for the field goal. And we were good. The game said, oh, you should punt here. And I'm like, no, we have Josh Lambeau. And it snuck through. And then we just kicked it off to the 49ers. So you're caught up. The game just started. This is a bit, an annoying start to the game. But you didn't miss much. I have no idea why it stopped recording. Didn't hit anything on my computer. OBS was just like, mm, I'm going to try and screw you up. But uh, I'm on my game right now, okay? I realized that it said uh, stopped recording when I checked over. So... Very good there. Joe Schobert tracking that down. Nice run stop. TFL behind the line. A little redundant there, but that is his 500th career tackle. And I love that it comes for a loss. Third and six. We'll take over Miles Jack. Jimmy Garoppolo had a shotgun. And that is nearly intercepted by two players. That was Joe Schobert certainly being one of them. But either way, probably should have been an interception. We have Peoples, the rookie. His second ever touch as a Jaguar. And it's a bad one as he tried to spin. We went the wrong way. Not a great start to the career of Donovan Peoples. Didn't catch a one-on-one, -on -one, which is fair. And then, like, uh, he actually is our starting kick returner as well. Had a return to the 23. Nothing special. As we get it to the rookie, Demarcus Holmes. His first catch in the NFL. 
good looks for him, but it's not even a bad start to the career of Donovan Peoples. He just hasn't done anything. It's very early. And that is wide open. DD Westbrook. Bad throw for Minshew. What is that? Can we streak Peoples there? Is there going to be enough confusion? There might be. That's wide open. Make the play. Home sideline. Toe drag from the rookie. Let's go to Marcus Holmes. His second catch on this drive. Can we fit that in there? Demarcus Holmes can't come down with it. Pretty good coverage from San Fran there. We inside lead that? Oh, man. Richard Sherman played it pretty well. We're almost lucky he didn't jump that. I don't know how he was even in position to make that play. And we are faced up with third and 10. We have this. One-on-one -on -one shot. D.D. Westbrook nearly intercepted. Could have missed something there. And we will attempt the second field goal of the game with Josh Lambeau. Maybe trying to do a little bit too much on offense so far. The 49ers have been pretty good in coverage. And we just got to read the field better and earlier. Don't want to force the ball. Don't want to throw an interception. And I feel like we've done that a few times and maybe have been lucky to come away with some points there. 6 nothing. Just need the defense to continue to play well. Run up the middle. Hey, there we go. Pretty good play. He got a couple, but Raheem Mostert pretty much nowhere to go. He's going to find this front seven. A little difficult to run on. We've got some really good players out here. Hopefully, they play to their ability. And we're going to have to reuse her that. It's an easy read. The Lorax taking it away. Easiest read we're ever going to get as Joe Schobert has the interception. <laughs> He's getting down with it. Joe Schobert. First turnover of the year. Here for this Jaguars defense. Running it with Aaron Jones. Finally finding some space. He gets 10 plus. A lot of really good players in this front seven. They're missing Solomon Thomas, but they still have Nick Bosa. They still have Fred Warner, who's really good. I think it's Quan Alexander in there, but we're going to dump it down. I don't think anyone really accounted for Aaron Jones. Richard Sherman ends up wrapping up with the help from... I believe that's Kawan Williams. Can we give this to Aaron Jones again? Just find the end zone. Down at the one. Aaron Jones couldn't quite get the ball over the goal line. Thought we had it for sure. Oh, they're stacking the line here. Stacking the box heavy. Can we win on a slant? Third and goal. We have Bronson Rex Steiner here. I wish I could uh, audible to a fullback dive here. Maybe play action could be elite. When we look for Rex Steiner out of the backfield or a jump ball to Demarcus Holmes. He's looked pretty good. We're rolling out. Somebody get open. We run into a sack. Jihad Ward. No, it's Jimmy Ward. Why do I think that's Jihad Ward? It's Jimmy Ward. <sighs> We basically made our own PA boot on the goal line, which cuts off half of the field. It's such a bad call on the goal line. I always talk about how bad it is in real life, and I set it up in the game. 9 nothing. Could be a lot more, man. I just can't get in the end zone right now. I mean, I got to run the ball there, right? I can't be scared of the stack box. We just got to run against it. Get to Jimmy G. It's a fake. Over the middle. My goodness. How did he catch that? He basically got stood up by CJ Henderson there. Spit the gap. Big hit, Joe Schobert. Oh, my goodness. Raheem Mostert. Going to feel that one tomorrow. Sets up third and one. Another TFL for Schobert there. Absolutely shot the gap perfectly. We're going to make that D-line move in. Maybe the linebackers can spread slightly. Move Ronnie Harrison up. It's a pitch. Tracking it. Big hit, Ronnie Harrison. He spun off it, but Taven Bryan was there to clean up the mess. We're taking out the trash right now. 49ers going to punt again from midfield. Fourth and two from midfield down by nine. I'd probably go for this. I'd probably go for this to start the second. We got to be careful. And they are going to punt. That is a weak punt. I know it's early in the game. You got it to the 28. Was it worth it? Was it really worth it? I don't think so. 
Richard Sherman's in the zone. We just need 15 more yards, though. Yeah, well, you gotta block somebody. AJ Khan, like, engage with somebody, please. Welcome to the new Jaguars offense. An offense that features fullback Bronson Rex Steiner. Ball him over. Tough three yards there. Sets up third and six. Thought that was gonna be a lot cooler. Third and six. Let's go, Jags. And we just gotta take the first down there. DD Westbrook about at the sticks. It might be fourth and inches. And it is. We're going for this, and we're giving it back to Bronson Rexsteiner. Run right. We got the fullback of dreams here. Free agent signing. First down. We'll take it. I mean, am I actually this bad on offense right now? We can't move the football. I'm almost tempted to run on second and ten. I'm going to look at DJ Chark quickly. It's taken away. We're going to throw it up. D.D. Westbrook's our best bet, and he can't. Get a hold of it. We're 6-16 throwing the ball right now. This is a really, really poor start. And I suppose there's a high chance I'm missing open receivers, but I don't really think I am that much. I feel like these guys are just not getting open. Maybe slant people's there. Everything working to the right. Aaron Jones on a block and release. We're going to throw that on the run, and it's not even close. It's not even close. Jesus, man. It's, uh, they were in man coverage. Uh, that's just tough. But best punter on YouTube is back in action. And that one is going to be a beauty. Couldn't quite get to the sideline, but a punt inside the 20. It was at max range. That's about all you can ask for. We'll blitz the free safety on this one. Man, I don't know what's going on with this offense, though. We just keep stalling. And we're not going to be able to get to the outside. It's going to be one-on-one. -on -one. Ronnie Harrison... I over-pursued and he juked back into me. That was a touchdown. I'm so lucky. Man coverage on Raheem Mostert. Probably the fastest running back in the NFL. And he's going to be motioned out wide. We're going to change assignments here. Go back over the middle of the field. But I'm on Dante Pettis. It's underneath. Big hit, Schobert. But Higgins is going to hold on to it. He's not wearing number 80, is he? I mean... The absolute, unbelievable disrespect to Jerry Rice. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Giving number 80 to a random receiver. Oh, man. I also threw up in my mouth. We're not covering that out of the backfield. Jeez. Raheem Mostert's too fast. Man coverage is a disaster when he's uh, running a route. That's just really, really tough. Is this Tevin Coleman now? I can't tell if that's Jarek McKinnon. I don't know their numbers. I just commit down. We got to get to the quarterback. Jimmy Garoppolo evades the sack, throws it to the end zone. Really nice play by Sidney Jones. I bit really hard on play action. I'm not sure how that's not a touchdown, and I'm not sure how it wasn't a sack. What just happened on that play? It's a run to the fullback. Kyle Juszczyk, and he's going to get the first down, falling forward for three. It is fullback against fullback. Juszczyk against Rex Steiner right now. Man, these offenses are fun to watch. Freaking fullback, City. Get after the quarterback. I thought it was going to be a draw. We're running deep. Jimmy G keeps running back. And finally, Kate LeVon, Chason. Second year player at LSU. Tracks him down and brings him down. Second and 23. This is the time to bring the heat again. We got Marcus Williams against George Kittle. And that was a, a recipe for disaster. But that's a nice tackle. Still want to dial up the pressure. We're going to have a mismatch here, unless they run the football. Yeah, nice check down, dude. Great effort from check to reel that in as well. No one's unaccounted for. We can just play just roving over the top. You got to jump that, Sydney. Come on. Realize the football's in the air. Thankfully, Debo Samuel didn't catch it, but we got we to gotta read and react earlier. Everyone's accounted for in man coverage. Line up over the center. He can't help anyone. Over the middle. Oh, man. He was not in the grasp. That's a sack. <laughs> Incompletion there. Setting up fourth and ten in a field goal. And I imagine the 49ers are going to make this a one-score game here. Our offense has to be better. Nine points at this point is unacceptable. 
There might be some number changes as well. I'm not sure that people is going to be wearing number 80 for his whole career, but he is wide open for his first NFL catch. The rookie finally making an impact here out of Alabama. Nice catch. A little bit of a run in there as well. And maybe this offense can finally get going. I don't know if the play calls have been the issue, but we've just not been executing. We just got to be better. That's Aaron Jones, what? Ninth carry of the game? Hasn't been a ton there for him. Third and five from midfield. Wide open. Just catch it. I don't want to risk a hit stick from Quan Alexander and dropping the football. Donovan Peoples gives us the first. That's kind of all I wanted. Rolling out with Minshew. We're going to check down to Holmes. Just get out of bounds there, I guess. Second and five. Aaron Jones. I mean, we get a little bit. Again, not a whole lot. Averaging about four yards per carry with the new Jag. Former Packer. I might want to give him the ball again. It's a favorable front to run up against. And Aaron Jones going to fight forward for the first down. And that is wide open. Holmes, again. They're not accounting for the rookie tight end. Out of the U. And they blitzed heavy. Now is the time to call a timeout. Now is the time. Second goal, man. I just don't like this spot at all. From the 11. Aaron Jones. Oh, it would have been nice if Peoples could have blocked ahead. We're going to call another timeout. That was a bad play. I don't think a pass is going to get open here based on their coverage. And I, I can't imagine the blocks could have shaped up any worse. What in the world was that? Like, actually. I don't think that could have been any worse if I wanted it to be. They had one linebacker. We still couldn't run the ball up the middle. Unreal. I mean, they had one linebacker. They had one linebacker. We got a yard? Huh. I waited as well? See, like, what was that? It may be the worst offensive half of football we've played in a minute, but one of the better defensive halves. We are up 12-3. The 49ers get the ball to start the third quarter. And we just got to continue to do what we're doing on defense. The 49ers really haven't had much going for them. We've been getting after Jimmy G a little bit more and more. They've had no running game. I mean, Mostert's had one play. That's really what it was. Like, it looks like he's doing okay, averaging, like, what, four and a half yards per carry. But he had one play. Other than that, he's pretty much been shut down, like, almost completely. As that somehow caught. I mean, it is George Kittle, but... Threw right at C.J. Henderson. I think we're going to man bliss here. Maybe not. Maybe pretend to. Maybe pretend to with Schobert and then lead off and uh, help out on Kittle. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I mean, Debo Samuel had absolutely no idea the ball was in the air. Not even a clue. And Mitch Wisnowski and the 49ers will punt yet again. People's back. I believe this is his second time. Not much there. Maybe had Peoples, but went for the check down to Aaron Jones. The arm strength of Minshew makes it tough to be as aggressive as I would like to be. It really does. But this 49ers defense, maybe it's just that, man. They've got so many good players out here. It's tough to get a ton of yards. They don't really leave a lot open. It's tough to run on them with their, their linebackers being as good as they are and their defensive line being as good as it is. It is tough. We have that over the top. Like, that's what I want. That's what I want. And he overthrows Donovan Peoples, who had a step. There's just not a, there's not a ton to work with, man. When guys really aren't getting open. And when they are, I mean, Gardner Minshew can't hit them. It's a travesty. We should be able to get after the QB here. Miles Jack up the middle on the sack. Just a little. I mean, it was a rhyme scheme. The a little doesn't make any sense. Maybe you said play him like a fiddle. I, I went for it. It's third and 14. <laughs> At least we read that uh, he was holding on to the football. And down he goes again. That is Solomon Thomas. New addition to the team. And he is coming up big time with a nice play there. Absolutely love when the new additions play well. And Solomon Thomas 
We're not even paying him a lot, but he's going to make that free agent acquisition worthwhile. He's going to he's going to earn his contract. Already off to a good start here with the sack in the second half. I mean, that's absolutely ridiculous, dude. These picks frustrate the hell out of me. They really do. Uh, this one, it just should not have been an interception. I'm not saying I maybe shouldn't have thrown a pick earlier in the game, but why on this play? So, Donovan Peoples was supposed to run a, like up the seam here, down the sideline. Not even up the seam, but he was supposed to run basically a go. Uh, and then just decides to just turn around and run. Back towards the quarterback. So, I didn't throw to him. I threw right here to D.D. Westbrook. That's who the ball is supposed to go to. I try to throw the ball here. What is that? Seven yards between the next defender? And instead of going to D.D. Westbrook, the ball sails up the field to Kawan Williams. Why is that an interception? So I've thrown an interception now before I've thrown a touchdown. Why is that an interception? That is ridiculous. Is it a run? It is. Raheem Mostert almost struck through Joe Schobert. But Miles Jack was not going to let him go any farther than that. Nice stop. And they're going for it here. I mean, I guess. See what they do. It's play action. Get back. Joe Schobert. Oh my goodness. Sidney Jones got beat. Good conversion. Good conversion. I mean, I had to choose one. It was going to either be a completion of George Kittle for about the same amount of yardage or a tougher throw to Debo Samuel for, you know, the yardage that he got down to the 11. It was just, you know, trying to cover two different guys with one guy. And Raheem Mostert doing this truck glitch that you see in Ultimate Team. <sighs> How is that a touchdown, dude? It's going to be 12-10. We're still holding on to the lead. If I don't score a touchdown this next drive, man, I can't believe I threw an interception. I really can't. I'm still on that. And why shouldn't I be mad? That's insane. We have three guys in front of the three defenders. I throw the ball to the most open, closest guy, and the ball sails way over his head. Minshew sucks. He is so bad. Get me a better QB in the draft, please. First and 10. Play action. Fred Warner did not bite on it. We fit that in. Just get down. D.D. Westbrook can't. I'm just acting like Minshew has 90 throw power plus, and he doesn't. It is impossible to make those throws, but what am I supposed to do? I roll out, and I put us in a pretty tough position. There's Aaron Jones. There's that speed. Aaron Jones to the open field, breaking a tackle out of bounds at the 41. That's a carry for Aaron Jones. That's the type of speed that we have not had before. Chris Thompson does not fit through that gap. He just doesn't. What is Richard Sherman going to do? I didn't want to risk making that throw on the RPO. We're going to drag Aaron Jones. I think that's a move. Just check it down to him. We got blockers, man. I mean, he, he didn't block the right guy, but we had blockers. Aaron Jones, nice catch. James Robinson into the game now as we're going to roll out. I mean, maybe we have peoples. I wanted the throw circle. I don't trust anything. I know R1 may be in the end zone. I saw it. I don't think we can make that throw. You got to remember, Minshew has a noodle. Like, all these throws that I want to force into tight windows, we just can't do. And that's that's a mistake. That easily could have been a pick. I would be way more okay with that being inter an interception than the Kawan Williams interception. That one, like, pisses me off the most. Play action on third and ten. Brain dead play call. We for oh my god, man! I'm freaking out now because I'm and I just hit stick for no reason. Aaron Jones gonna save the touchdown, hopefully. No, he's not. It's gonna be a touchdown. Chiquisky Tart. Chiquisky Tart. Whatever the freak his name is, man. UI doesn't make ah. It can't be Jaquaski. I know it's Jaquaski. It is Q U I. Like, is is it John Quancy Adams, the freaking president? No, it's not. How? Uh, gosh. Like, I'm having a hissy fit right now. Should I expect that the game's not going to work? Why is that where the ball is, man? Every time. 
they're just in random spots. I have open guys. I'm going back to that after the game, and I'm looking at it in replay mode, and I'm gonna complain some more. That's what this series is. Ah, uh, you just suck. I know. Why? It, I, I shouldn't be this bad. I waited for that to get covered. Oh my god, and he dropped it. <laughs> he dropped it. I just should have thrown that earlier. I mean, we got Greg Dorch on the field. Everyone's so gassed. I can't believe this, man. We're down in the game right now. I've, it shouldn't have been a pick six. I, I screwed up on that. It shouldn't have been an interception, period, in my opinion. That's got to be a touchdown. And there's a flag. I swear to God, if this is holding... I, I swear to God. Don't show him. Don't show him. It's unreal. It's unreal. It's un. Un unreal the end of the third quarter, the score, they don't want to see me winning I feel like Kodak fucking black dude first and 20 I just took a sack I mean what am I supposed to do on first and 20 not that obviously I mean their coverage has been really good for most of this game right I don't think I'm crazy to say that I feel like they've been really good I also I'm, I'm sure I'm missing guys I'm sure I am but I feel like their coverage, for the most part, has been really solid. I can't believe I've thrown two picks. I hate those. I have no touchdowns. Great start to the year. This is a D.D. Westbrook spot. I mean, he should have the speed to beat Richard Sherman. That's open. Demarcus Holmes, first down and more. Jaquaski Tart couldn't cover him. That's who we have to go to. We just got to utilize the tight end. Can we fit that in there? Holmes couldn't go up and get it. Dude, I feel like they are playing really, really good coverage. Because I was looking at a number of different things in that area. And they were just all over it. We're going to try a screen here. Couldn't get the ball away. And he's fumbled it. You got to be kidding me. There's no way. Aaron Jones at least brought him, ba brought him down. We're going to start 0-1. If we don't start playing better. We need our defense to make a play. I can't believe that's a fumble. What is happening right now? Big hit! Cough up the football! Oh, Ronnie Harrison. Just, just try and catch it. That's a pick six. This field goal is not that bad. It's still a one-score game if we get a two-point conversion after a touchdown, which we've yet to score all game. I'll tell you who's getting the ball. Aaron Jones. Aaron Jones is getting the football. Aaron Jones is just going to keep getting the ball. Oh, man, tried to cut back. Is it? I got to snap the football. I don't even have words, man. I don't have words. I think that route combo I set up was terrible and rushed. But I don't know where that pass was going, man. It was a throw out of a sack somehow. I didn't even feel like we were under pressure that badly. Quandre Sims, it's a nice tackle by the rookie. <laughs> I can't do anything on offense. Do I run the ball there on third and three? I guess I probably should have. I mean, but hindsight's 2020, right? Ronnie Harrison. These guys can only take so many big hits, man. They have taken a lot. And they are very content to hold on to the football, which I don't blame them. It's the right move. But I wish they wouldn't. We need any type of pressure. That's a check down. That's fine. No way he fell for it. No way. No way. Oh my gosh. I need Jimmy Garoppolo to go down. Someone get after him. Thank you. He just ran backwards like 40 yards. It's 4th and 20. So it was 10. But Miles Jack... With the sack. We need, we need to play offense. Three and a half minutes. We've looked terrible the whole game. Now is the time. Somebody make a big play. That's an okay return. I'll take it. That looks open to me. There's Peoples. Another catch for him. I mean, I don't even think we've gotten to DJ Shark or DD Westbrook the entire game. He won off, he won off the rip. 
Get it outside. Westbrook went up and caught it two feet down through contact. D.D. Westbrook is a god. 27 yards, out of bounds. What a play from D.D. Westbrook. Put the team on your back. It's a Greg Janis. You guys remember that video? It's not a great impression of it. Minshew Mania. For five. You'll take that. We're going to call play action. They didn't bite. Running outside. We just got to throw it away. Okay. DJ Chark over the middle. Fight on the one. How is that not a touchdown? Now we don't get the two-minute warning, which is frustrating. I mean, for our benefit. That, that looks like a touchdown. I couldn't low point it. I did L2. I, I think that's what it was. I guess not. Hand off. Aaron Jones. First touchdown as a Jaguar. Finally into the end zone. I don't know what has gone on this game. Let me tell you. The 49ers have run some exotic looks at me. I haven't been ready for them. I couldn't even I couldn't even pick a guy. It's a two-point conversion. I just have to throw it earlier. And we're not going to onside kick it, though. Our defense has played well. Two minutes to go. We have three timeouts. There's time. Need to stop. Down by two. Haven't played well enough on offense today. Schobert. Oh, great read. We're going to call a timeout. Because that's a really good start for us. They tackle the game for Big Joe. Joe Show. Second and 11. Run the ball again. We're staying home. Great play by the D-line. It's a really, really nice tackle. Let's go, peoples. Give us a good start. Oh, nice spin move. Nice spin move from him. Field goal wins the game. Let's get it, baby. Show us what you're made of. Good start. We can run the ball here. We don't have to be afraid. Aaron Jones over 100 for the game. I mean, we have one of the best running backs in the league. We got to be able to lean on him in these spots. Looks like he's going to crawl forward for the first. What an effort from Aaron Jones. On third downs, we're going to trust him with running the football. I don't really like anyone here. I can't throw that ball late. We've seen it. It's been an interception every time. Do we just try to take the top off the defense here? DJ Chark. He beat him. He beat him. Chark. Sideline. Touchdown. We got the lead. DJ Chark. One on one. Not good enough. You need safety help. DJ Chark going to put us up by five. Big 59-yard touchdown with less than a minute to go, and we have taken the lead. 25-20. Four plays, 69 yards. Nice. The 49ers now have 50 seconds. A field goal will not cut it. They need a touchdown to win. Nothing else will do. What are they going to do here? They have three timeouts. They don't have to be super aggressive. They're going to check down. I think that's fine. I just got juked out of my shoes. This is a spot where you'd call a timeout. Instead, they let 10 plus seconds go off the clock very easily. The CPU doesn't just does not handle the clock. He did not go out of bounds there. And then he gets hit out of bounds. Where was George Kittle on that play? I completely lost him. I have to look at this in replay mode. Where was George Kittle? I mean, he was in a... Th what? He was in a three-point stance out wide. CJ Henderson, just no one accounted for him. What is that play? <laughs> what was that? Is that a glitch? I've never seen anything like that. That's just so odd. Deep down the field. Sidney Jones. Don't be burned. Dude's a piece of toast that was sit, sitting in the oven for eight hours. He's a crisp. They're going for two. We can still win or tie. 
We need to stop here. They got the two-point conversion. Field goal ties the game. We have 20 seconds. They're going to kick it deep. A squib would be so stupid here. Please squib it. Nope. How are we going to do this? We're going to start this return with Peoples. It's not a bad return. We need to get out of bounds. We have no timeouts. A spike is not going to cut it. Unless we really get up the field quickly. I mean, they have safety help here. I'm going to leave in Aaron Jones to block. Hopefully, DJ Shark wins down the field. Do we have that? Oh, no. Nearly intercepted. Was looking for peoples in the slot up the seam. Okay, here's the goal. Well, we know what the goal is. Here's the plan. Is Holmes is going to bring the linebacker down. Could hit peoples on the slant in the intermediate part of the field. Or someone on the corners wins early. Slant open. You can't catch it like that. People's broke a tackle. It doesn't matter, man. Why is that the animation I get? We're going to lose this game. Really tough game with the 49ers. They were the better team. We just couldn't do anything on their defense. I know they have a lot of really good players out there, but we just couldn't do anything. When it mattered most, we got beat over the top. We had a couple plays to look at. So final play of the game, I don't think it was a bad idea. We had the right idea going, right? So... We did exactly what we wanted to do with bringing the linebacker down. And then we got the ball to Dennis Peoples. Who, or is it Donovan? I call him like, I think, I, I think I've been calling him Donovan. I think his name is Dennis. Whatever. Um, he's wide open, right? Wide open. Now, our catch and run animation was to jump up and get a ball that we never should have needed to jump for. We should have been able to easily get up the field to about the 50 with about, what, 10 seconds left, maybe eight. And then we only really need 10 yards. He breaks a tackle. I mean, good on him. But of course, the broken tackle animation is forced back into Richard Sherman, who uh, just made, it, made a nice play to get up there. And then the Jimmy Garoppolo pass is one of the best passes you're ever going to see. I'm not sure how he fit this ball in there. Uh, it was an excellent throw. We wanted to get pressure on him. Only sent four, though. And uh, they just found the spot in the zone. Didn't trust man down the field. And um, Sidney Jones in a deep third just loses the battle. With high speed, too. I mean, this is this is a foot race, and he has a step. I don't know how he loses so much ground to Debo Samuel, who he's definitely faster than. Sidney Jones is without question faster than Debo Samuel, is ahead of him, and just slows down, and then he speeds back up. I don't really know what's going on there. And then I want to look at the pick six. I think I looked at this earlier, um, or a different play earlier. I don't know if I looked at this one in particular. I don't really see anything open here. So I roll out to try and buy time, maybe get somebody open. And then, like, I guess there's not a whole lot of separation here. Like, I get that. I really do. But I'm rolling out. I'm trying to find somebody. And I, th I try to throw it to him at the sideline, pass leading down. And I get the, uh, the classic Madden animation where he bounces off the sideline. And instead of throwing the ball to him down on the sideline... The ball is up over the middle of the field, which is so, 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 so stupid. I'm not mad. I'm a little mad. If you check out the stats, it was an interesting game, man. Uh, again, I'm like still so annoyed about these interceptions and some of these incompletions. Minshew is a tough quarterback to play with for me. I try to extend the field and it just doesn't work. Aaron Jones was quite good in his debut. I think he's definitely the future of this team. I mean, he's, he's probably broken more tackles than either Chris Thompson or James Williams or LaVisca Chenault did for us as a running back last year. Receiving DeMarcus Holmes actually had the most catches of anyone on this team, 6 for 84. We also had Aaron Jones, 5 for 32. Donovan Peoples, the rookie, 5 for 87. 4 for 51 for D.D. Westbrook. A lot of big catches. And DJ Chark only had big catches. Three for 117 and a touchdown. 
I can't believe uh, we lost this game, though, man. This was a weird one. Joe Schobert had five tackles for loss, two sacks for Miles Jack, one for Caleb on Chase on, one for Solomon Thomas, and a pick for Joe Schobert was an easy read. No forced fumbles, of course, no recoveries, and no defensive touchdowns. This one is a tough start to the season going 0-1, but uh, this game was anything but easy. Miles Jack with a skill point upgrade. Really good player for us so far. And um, I, also, I thought he was a little bit slower in the game. He's 87 speed. So he and Joe Schobert are definitely not on the same track. Uh, he's a little bit faster. I thought he was like 83, 84. But he has 87. I know he's uh, super fast. That's why I was surprised he was rated as low as I thought it was. But I was incorrect. And things do not get easier for us as I think we're facing the NFC West this year. Seahawks week two, Rams week six. We're playing Russell Wilson and the Seahawks. And if you guys have ever seen a Bengal franchise video on the channel, you know that the Seahawks kill me. Specifically, they're running backs. Historically, it's been Thomas Rawls, but we do have a storyline. Middle linebacker Miles Madison is creating a legend of his own. Not on the track, but on the fit, uh, football field at Texas. Hook him horns. I'm already in. Son of an Olympic track star. I'm in on Miles Madison. Say less. But that will be in the next episode. Finding out more about him. Scouting in week three. But this matchup against the 49ers, we might be looking at 0-2. Tough start to the season, but I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new for more complaining. And I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.